Thank you. We're ready. So we still have one more person who's going to join us. Um, she's close by. Do I hear sound? Yeah. <laughs> um, there we go. Thank you, everyone, for being here. This is, well, my first in-person event in about two years. Everyone else? <laughs> yeah, other than being with family. Um, so thank you for being brave, um, for trusting me, uh, and yeah, stepping outside your comfort zone to, to get back into connection and learning and experience. So tonight, I, yeah, I, I want to talk a little bit about the nervous system and how we can use our breath to actually reshape our nervous system. Uh, from my experience with um, conscious connected breathing, which is something we are going to play with tonight, is that often the way it's experienced and even seen is that it can be quite explosive, really big experiences where we um, go big and hard for a long time. And what I've learned through my own experience and through facilitating with other people is that that's often um, can be quite sensational and, and make for a really um, big experience, but it also can be quite overwhelming for our nervous system and is not actually in service of reshaping our nervous system. So what we ideally want for our nervous system is for it to be flexible and adaptive, meaning we can get activated, mobilized, feel a little bit of stress or excitement. And then as soon as the moment is over, we come right back into a place of feeling regulated and calm. And for many people, uh, myself included for a long time, it was more of a, an experience of activation and staying there, right? So we might feel stress in our body or tension or overthinking, uh, a lot of worrying. And when we don't come down from that, Welcome, Tam. Come on over here into the corner. Yeah. Uh, if we don't know how to come down from that activating experience, uh, it can cause a lot of issues in our mind and body. And so one of my favorite reminders is uh, a flexible nervous system is a healthy nervous system. So I want you to imagine your breath and your nervous system as being like an elastic, right? So as we inhale, we want to feel a bit of a stretch, a bit of activation. Our heart rate actually increases a little bit. And as we exhale, we come fully right back into restoration where everything relaxes, right? So if we struggle with dysregulation, we might find that we're holding this elastic tight all the time, that the exhale actually doesn't feel relaxing. It doesn't feel like a release. There's no satisfaction. And on the other end of the spectrum, if we stay here for a long time, well, what an elastic does is it loses its ability to be flexible. It actually becomes quite slack and there's no buoyancy in it anymore. So us being um, real fleshy human beings, um, not these dormant elastics, is that we actually can retrain our system and bring some flexibility back into it with our breath. So that's the intent of our time together, is I want to walk you through some really simple techniques that you could utilize any time that you just want to put your nervous system through a little bit of exercise. And after we play with that, we'll move into a deep restoration of yoga nidra because rest is sacred and it makes a huge difference after even these oscillations of activation and regulation to move into deep rest after is really restorative for our system. So that's the intent for tonight. Uh, Nora is here assisting. <laughs> Nora is my teammate uh, with the Inspired Yoga and Wellness Collective. Well, thank you, Nora, for being here. Yeah. Um, at any point tonight, if, if anyone 
feels they need a little extra support for whatever reason, know that Nora is here as well to support with that. So if you um, need to leave the room um, or you need to talk something through, we're really not here to fix anything or to dive into what you're going through. But what we can do is hold space and be supportive because this is what the magic of breathwork does is that it, it can help us thaw things that have been frozen for a long time. And that might manifest in tears or laughter or just a sense of peace and ease or your body might tremor or you might feel compelled to make some sounds or to move in any way that you want to move. So this is a, an opportunity to really allow your body to, to let go and be moved. Um, what else? Bathrooms outside the door. Some of you have already used them. You know where they are. So right outside the door and then on the other side of the kitchen are some more. There's also, like I said, the kitchen that you can fill up some water if needed. Um, we will take a bio break after doing a bit of our breath techniques and practice. Uh, but if, of course, you need to use the bathroom or step outside, like this time is good for you. Okay. So any... Mm, Actually, let's, let's go around the circle and everyone can just say hello. Just say your name, introduce yourself so that we know who, who we're on this journey with. Just a simple name. Um, if you have a question in this moment or anything coming up for you that you want to share, you're welcome to do that as well. Uh, just that everyone has an opportunity to have their voice heard. Yeah? Would you be willing to start? I'm Sherry. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Carly. Amanda. Amanda. Ernie. Hey, Ernie. Oh, <laughs> Ernie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Tam. <laughs> Victoria. My name's Ian. Angela. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Uh, so with that, any any questions? or any curiosities about the breath that maybe you walked in here with. Okay, open, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna begin with uh, just a little bit of, well, basically every technique that we use in between some breath work, I want you to kind of put it in your back pocket as if it feels good, this is a technique you can use whether later on in our breath work or any time throughout your day to help you come back into that releasing the elastic, right? The more we can do that throughout our day, the more flexible and healthier our nervous system is, okay? So we're gonna begin with uh, using our senses. So as you settle into the position you're in currently, know that at any point, if you wanna lay down on your back or shift into child's pose or curl up in the fetal position, you can really move in any position that you would like to. And we'll begin by using our eyes. So let's just take a few moments to look around the space. This space that I don't think any of you have been in here before. And although you've been in here for a few minutes now, there might be some details that you can notice that you haven't noticed before. So looking around with the intention of noticing detail and if you're joining us from home, same thing. You're looking around your space with the intention of noticing detail. The colors, the shapes, the shadows, the light. And it can be really helpful as well to do a really gentle twist and look behind you, noticing detail. So mental focus follows visual focus. And if you are visually impaired at any point in time, it's very similar to have uh, our sense of sound be what our mental focus follows. Okay, so as we take in detail in the space, we're actually supporting our nervous system to be familiar and to recognize, you know, there's not really much in here that feels super dangerous. There's nothing behind me, right? familiar. And now we're going to choose one object, whether it's a color or shape or shadow, that for whatever reason in this moment, 
when you look at it, there's the sense of, oh, that's nice. Perhaps it's warm and welcoming. There's something about it that feels inviting. Like you could just allow your eyes to land there for a few moments. And notice what it's like to bridge the gap between you and what you're looking at, as if you could breathe that quality into your body a little bit more. And so often throughout our day, even when we have moments that feel really good, we tend to shift to the next moment. And this is an opportunity to actually savor something that feels good. And when that feels complete for now, knowing that that object is there at any point when you need an extra safety signal, if it feels okay in this moment, you could close your eyes. And if it would feel nice to lay down on your back, you're welcome to do that. So we're gonna move through some basic steps of how to uh, breathe optimally. And one of the things I would suggest to start is actually place your hands on your body, whether it's hands on your belly or wrapped around your low ribs or belly and back or belly and heart. But placing your hands somewhere where you can feel your breath And as you inhale, allow a little bit of pressure with your hands into your body to slow your inhale down. And as you exhale, relax your hands. Just a few breaths like that, using your own attuned touch to slow your inhale down. And ideally, as we inhale, we wanna feel 70% of our breath in our low belly, our pelvis, and low back, like a 3D sphere expanding in all directions. And then 20% of the inhale is felt as a lateral expansion through the low ribs, as the external intercostals, the muscles on the outside of the ribs, support the expansion, pulling your ribs apart. And that final 10% of your inhale, as it waves through your body, is felt at the front sides and back of your heart. As your collarbones lift gently and your shoulders roll back subtly. And every exhale, Everything that mobilized on your inhale, rest back to neutral. Breathing slow, low and light. And as you breathe in this way, you are engaging your parasympathetic nervous system. this long vagus nerve that travels from your brainstem down through the core of your body, all the way to your colon. It's receiving and sending safety signals because of this slow, deep, diaphragmatic breath. You're supporting the circulation of your lymphatic system, moving stagnant energy water, releasing toxins as you exhale. And as you inhale and feel that 3D expansion in your low belly, that's from your diaphragms gliding down, stretching your lungs and your heart, which is why your heart rate starts to speed up at rest on your inhale and slows down as you exhale. So this slow diaphragmatic breath is supporting your heart, lowering your blood pressure, 
strengthening your immune system. Just a few more breaths like that. So we're now going to shift into a little bit of a stimulating technique that is sometimes called veloma or against the grain or the interrupted breath. And we're going to do it on the inhale. The way this breath works is that as you inhale, it's going to start with a really little sip of air through your nose and then you pause and then you breathe a little more and then you pause and then you sip in a little more and then you pause. And you keep going until you are so full that you couldn't sip any more air into your body. At that point, you're going to exhale with a hum or a sigh. <sighs> and then do it again. A slow inhale. Little pause. Inhale a little more. Pause. Inhale a little more. Keep going feeling that expansion in the front, sides, and back of your body. Once you can't fill up anymore, let go softly, smoothly. Yeah. Doing that a couple more times. You're giving your diaphragm a little bit of a workout here. Stretching your lungs and your heart. Because you are consciously doing this, it tends to be a different experience as your nervous system state shifts. Nothing's happening. You are consciously activating your nervous system. So when that feels complete for now, just shift back into what feels like a natural, smooth, slow, low and light breath. Knowing that you can use your hands on your body at any point in time to slow your inhale down. But actually a little bit of resistance on your inhale, along with that slow lengthened exhale is extremely down-regulating. So that little Veloma technique was like a conscious stretch of the elastic band, just a little bit. And then you come right back home, breathing in a way that feels relaxing and soothing. Feeling the ground beneath you. Listening and feeling your breath as it moves through you. So we're now gonna shift our practice of Voloma to the exhale. And we're gonna do it with a little bit of sound. So I'll invite you as you engage in this practice to make the sound of O. Oh. So you take a slow, spacious inhale, and then you're gonna exhale just a little bit with an O, oh. pause. Exhale a little bit more, O, oh. pause. Oh, pause, continuing, hugging back your belly every time you say, oh, letting out a little bit more of the exhale. If you don't want to say, oh, you could say, ooh, or e, or ah, or really any sound you want to make. It could even just be a short little
and you keep exhaling with that pause until you can't exhale out anymore. The sound becomes silent. There's nothing left to exhale. Working your diaphragm in the opposite direction, as you empty, your diaphragm is like saran wrap, suctioning up and in your ribs. And when you need to inhale, let it be slow, low and light. Continuing for several rounds. doing great. Perhaps one more round. How empty can you get? Take your time when your practice feels complete for now. Feel the transition as you shift back into a slow, low, light, smooth, rhythmic breath. Using your hands on your body, if that feels good for you, to support yourself and breathing slow. Noticing and feeling whatever is arising for you in this moment. You don't have to fix anything or do anything or problem solve. We're practicing tuning in a little bit more to the right hemisphere of our brain, the nonlinear, the mental abstractions, the feeling, the formlessness. Just take another minute, feeling the ground, noticing the sounds in the space and how they vibrate through your flesh. Feeling, listening to the rhythm of your breath. You let go of tension in your belly. As you inhale, feel yourself expand and pick up space. And as you exhale, surrender into the support that's right here. We're now going to invite in the beginning of our conscious connected breathing. Conscious connected breathing is an effortful inhale followed by a surrendered exhale, a full letting go without any pause in between inhale to exhale and potentially even inhaling before the exhale feels fully complete. We're going to begin this practice by just doing 10 of these breaths so you can get familiar with what it feels like and right back into some grounding and relaxing. 
We're going to begin the first 10 in and out through our nose. It sounds like this. So as you inhale, you're engaging these muscles you've been practicing opening. So it's that 70, 20, 10 expansion at a much quicker rate than what we've been doing. When you're ready, 10 conscious connected breaths. That's it, three more. At the end of your last breath, you're gonna hold. Hold in the emptiness, be empty. Relax in the emptiness. And when you feel the impulse to breathe, engage in a double pump inhale. Take your time when you're ready and then hold full. And then let it go with a long sigh or hum. <sighs> and now begin to breathe in what is your version of a box breath. The slow, spacious inhale, a gentle pause at the top, a slow, patient exhale, and a gentle pause at the bottom beginning to feel these four parts of your breath. The expansion, the receiving of your inhale, the pausing to be full, the letting go, the surrender of the exhale, and a pause to be still in emptiness. A few breaths like that. This box breath is one of those techniques that not only can calm your nervous system, it can also help with our sense of focus and concentration. Being with these four parts of the breath. And after one more round of this box breath, feel into the transition as those pauses between the breath become smaller and your inhale and exhale move back into a wave, a smooth, spacious rhythm. Feeling the ground beneath you. The length of your spine. your breath moving like a wave. Now you're welcome to stay with this breath a little bit longer. And if you feel ready or curious to engage in conscious connected breathing, we'll do it again. This time, 10 or 20. So still a short amount and the option to do it through your open mouth. If you choose to do this breath through your open mouth, you're choosing a little bit more activation. So if you are feeling quite grounded and regulated, that might be a good time to try open mouth. Or if you're feeling really sleepy, dropping into a deep state of relaxation, I would encourage you to also try this with your open mouth. Same process of a, an expansive, effortful inhale. And as you exhale, let it drop out of your body. Don't push the exhale out, just let it drop. When you're ready, we'll do 10 to 20, followed by a breath hold at the bottom of your last breath. Begin when you feel ready.
You're doing great. Keep breathing. Keep being with whatever's arising. Noticing the sensations. Relaxing on the exhale. Meet the effortful inhale. Three, two, one. Bottom of your exhale, hold. Be empty. Pause in the emptiness. Hover in the emptiness. Notice how a breath hold feels different after consciously over breathing. Wait for the impulse to breathe. When it comes in, try a double pump inhale. No rush. Wait for that impulse. Once you've done the double pump, hold for five to 10 seconds, be full. And then a long exhale with a sigh or hum. And this time, breathing in for around four seconds, holding for around two, and out for six. Give or take a second or two. So that slow, spacious inhale. Pause at the top and a slow, elongated exhale. Yeah, I think this is as full as it gets. After a few more rounds of this elongated exhale, feel the transition back into a smooth, rhythmic, slow, low, and light breath. Feeling the ground beneath you holding your body. Perhaps noticing how good it feels to just relax and just breathe after these momentary bouts of effort and stimulation. Now I'm gonna teach you one more down-regulating technique that is known for supporting the stimulation of the vagus nerve, which has a very deeply down-regulating effect. We do this from laying on our back. So if you're not there already, I'll invite you to lay down on your back with your knees bent. Now, as we move into this practice, know that this is another tool you can use at any point in the next several minutes as we move into a more free flow of breathing. With your knees bent, feet flat on the ground, you're gonna slowly inhale as you lift your hips into a bridge. At the top of your inhale, with your hips high, swallow. And then slowly exhale through your nose as you drop your hips back down to the ground. And at the bottom, wait for the impulse to breathe. When the impulse comes in, Again, push down through your feet, lift your hips as you inhale. At the top, hold, swallow. And then slowly exhale. Once your hips land down at the bottom of your exhale, pause. So it's a bit of a box breath, waiting for the impulse to breathe. Lifting your hips as you inhale. At the top of your inhale with your hips high, swallow. dropping your hips back down as you exhale. 
and feeling and waiting for the impulse to breathe. Let's do that a couple more times. Moving with your breath. Another form of conscious breathing, being with your breath. I'm just doing that one more time if that feels okay for you. And then once your hips land down, pause here, and just breathe. Back into that 70, 20, 10, movement of your breath, perhaps the support of your hands on your body, if that felt good before, to slow your inhale down. Generally speaking, when we breathe through our nose, we are supporting our down regulating and getting the benefit of nitric oxide, which is an anti-inflammatory agent in our nasal passages, and through all of the lining of our blood vessels. So breathing slow, low and light, in and out through your nose, is down regulating. Now as we shift into this next portion of our breath work together, know that you have a full invitation to engage in this practice in any way that feels supportive for you. For the next 20 minutes, we're gonna move into our conscious connected breathing. Now you can do conscious connected breathing in and out through your nose at a slow pace. It'll still be somewhat stimulating because you're breathing a little quicker than you would if you were trying to relax, but not so stimulating that you'll feel yourself lose control or go somewhere other than being right here. You could also engage in this technique in and out through your mouth at a quicker pace, which will be far more stimulating and your body might move in ways that you don't feel that you are choosing that movement. You might make sounds. You might feel like you go somewhere. Knowing that we're going to do this for 20 minutes, and oscillating from activation to regulation will potentially feel really good for you as well. So when you feel ready, you can begin your choice of in and out through your mouth, in and out through your nose. You could do 10 breaths and then pause to regulate. Or you could stay with it for several minutes, perhaps up to 20 minutes. The intention being to just be with your breath. Be with whatever sensations are arising. Be with each moment as it is, as you hold the hand of your breath. Show your body your willingness to be present and just feel. the effortful inhale, the surrendered exhale, one breath at a time. If 
feel into the rhythm that's supporting you. Vibrant inhale, surrendered exhale. You're doing great. You are resourced and supported to down-regulate any time you need. Allowing the sounds and the space and others' experiences to be included. Allowing your experience to be what it is. Can you let go on your exhale? Let the exhale drop out of your body. It's safe to feel whatever's arising. Be with it, relax around it. Let your exhale be effortless. Meeting stimulation and activation as you inhale. And every exhale, let go. You have what you need in each breath. It's okay to surrender here. Breathing through your mouth, breathing through your nose. Be with the aliveness that is your breath. Breathing slow or breathing fast. Noticing how the pace, depth, and rhythm of your breath changes your experience. What if it were easy? Feel the ease in every exhale. Is it okay if I touch your sternum? Yeah. Yeah. It's safe to breathe. It's 
it's safe to enjoy your breath. It's safe to feel it all. Try slowing your breath by one second. Just like that. Feel the softness that's right here. That's it. It's okay to take my time. easy. Life is hard enough already. Let your breath be easy. Wherever you are, just keep going. Breathing slow, breathing fast. Moving in to meet the sensations that are right here. So much going on inside. Listening, feeling, observing. Be with your internal environment one breath at a time. One conscious breath at a time. As you hear the sounds of the stereo trying to connect, just feel that move through your flesh. Sounds as vibrations through your inner ear, rippling through your body. Five more minutes to just breathe. 
Breathing a little bit quicker. Being with sensation as it moves, transforms, and ripples. Being with each breath as it moves through you. Holding space for this body that works so hard, that feels so much. Vibrant inhale, surrendered exhale. Every exhale is a letting go. Every inhale is an opening your arms to this moment, to whatever's right here with you. a couple more minutes. Either use that as a cue to breathe a little bit faster or to allow the transition as you slow down. What does your body need? Consciously activating your nervous system. Being with the sensations. Feeling what's there to be felt. Within your next few breaths, at the bottom of an exhale, hold and hover in the emptiness. If you've been breathing big or fast, you might find that you can hold your breath for a lot longer than you could otherwise. An opportunity to rebalance your blood chemistry And whenever that feels complete, shifting back into a smooth, slow, low and light rhythm. Letting go of all effort. You just spent a considerable amount of time being the guide for your breath. So let's tip the scale in the other direction. Be guided. Just breathe.
Let your body be breathed. Feel the transition into relaxation. It's gifting yourself a couple minutes here. You find your breath is still naturally moving big or fast or in the opposite direction of being really shallow. Use your attuned loving touch on your body to breathe into your hands to support your breath to be slow and low. We are going to begin our transition into our yoga nidra practice. We're going to take the next several minutes to be an opportunity if you need to go to the bathroom or fill your water. If you feel called to move your body in any way or be still. And if you don't need to go to the bathroom or, or leave the space at all, you can just begin setting up your mat. But the only change we'll make in this space is I'll actually have your heads towards the center. Perhaps putting on some layers. Yes, great time to go to the bathroom. Wiggle out your body. <laughs> A 
was just going to say, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Are, are you able to turn that thermometer up? Turn it up? A little bit, you did, yeah, thank you. Uh, why not? <laughs> okay, thank you. Got one more coming in. Yeah. <laughs> We're taking this time now to transition. Making sure you have everything you need. And as you set yourself up, just allow moments to pause and check in. Feeling your posture. Yeah. Taking moments to scan through your body with the question of, is there anything I could do to make myself 1% more comfortable. Any edits, any adjustments, any movements. And then after adjustments, again, pause. Notice what feels different. And then again, check in. Is there anything I could do to make myself 1% more comfortable? Feel for balance on the left and right sides of your spine. Allow your toes to flop in whatever direction as your feet relax. Feel the support of the earth beneath your legs and pelvis. the wings of your shoulder blades resting, supporting a cradle for your heart. Feel your shoulders melt down into the earth as your arms lengthen and relax. Feel the weight of your head. And bring in a gentle and subtle movement of your head, side to side, moving slower than you think you should.
as if you're rocking your brain in the cradle of your skull. Allowing your head to naturally come back into stillness when that feels good. Bring a little more awareness to your hearing as you notice the sounds in this space. The sounds that come and go. The sounds that stay steady. The sound of my voice. Anchor on to the sound of my voice as the rest of your hearing turns inwards. As you notice how sounds vibrate through your flesh. Notice your breath moving. and the sounds of the changing pressure as you inhale and exhale. For the next three breaths, we'll do a slow inhale and a long exhale with a hum. Unite your voice with mine. Slow inhale. Mm. Again. One more. Now shift back into what feels like a natural soothing breath as you feel the ripples of that vibration move through you. Take a moment to make a commitment to stay awake. To allow your body to drop into deep rest as your awareness stays alert. So as to experience and be with a body that is asleep. so you can wake up to what you are asleep to. Hold the hand of your breath. Feel for that sense that you are actually never alone. You are with your breath. You are with each part of you that arises to be seen, felt, heard, and loved. Feel your body as it relaxes a little more. Your skin relaxes. Your muscles release. Your bones ground down into the earth.
Feel the back side of your body held by the floor beneath you. You truly can let go. You are held. Let yourself be held. Can you hear the beating of your own heart? Your breath flowing. Your heart beating in harmony, in partnership. When that connection is at its most optimal relationship, we call it coherence, a sense of wholeness, synchronicity, collaboration, With your body deeply relaxed, your mind open and alert, we are positioned in a way that our Y system is so ready to receive a new story, ready to receive a new direction, to lead us towards a higher state of being. It is here we plant our Sankalpa. Take a moment to recall any patterns or consistent negative self-talk that you are familiar with. The stories or limiting beliefs that you fall into. And then open yourself to the opposite. The positive I am statement that is the other side of the coin. I am enough. I am courageous. I am present. I am ready. However those words arise for you, Land on your sankalpa, your positive I am statement. Use the left hemisphere of your brain for a few moments as you repeat your sankalpa three times using your cognition, your language. and then thank your left hemisphere, your cognition, as you ask it to now step back and give you space, as you infuse your sankalpa into your breath. Feel it. Breathe it throughout your body. The practice of Yoga Nidra begins now. Gaze deeply at the backs of your eyelids as you once again commit to stay awake and alert as your body drops deeper. As I speak a body part, allow your awareness to infuse and inhabit that area of your body, feeling it without moving as we move through this rotation of consciousness. Beginning with your right hand. Feel your right hand. Your right wrist. Your right forearm. your right elbow,
right upper arm. Right shoulder. Your right collarbone. The right side of your chest. Feeling into the right side of your ribs, heart, all the way to your right shoulder blade. Feel the right side of your torso. The right side of your pelvis. Upper right leg. Right knee. Lower leg. Right ankle. your right foot, all the way to the tips of your toes. Feel the whole right side of your body. Feel it with your breath, with your awareness, your presence. And now guide your attention to land in your left hand. Feel your left hand light up with your awareness. Left wrist. Forearm. Left elbow. Upper arm. Left shoulder. left side of your collarbone, the left side of your chest, dropping down to feel the left side of your ribs, left side of your heart, all the way to your left shoulder blade. Feel the left side of your torso. left side of your pelvis, upper left leg, left knee, lower leg, left ankle, left foot, all the way to the tips of your toes. Feel the entire left side of your body with your breath, your awareness, your presence, your willingness to feel. Allow the sounds in the space to move through you like vibrations as you feel your body. Guide your awareness down to the soles of your feet and begin to travel up the back side of your body, your Achilles, calves, backs of your knees, hamstrings, glutes, low back, mid back, upper back, the back sides of both arms down to your fingertips, back up to the back side of your neck, the back of your head, the crown of your head. Feel down your forehead, both eyebrows, both eyes, the bridge of your nose, down the outsides of both nostrils, 
both cheekbones, both ears. Travel along your jawbone, feel your chin, lower lip, upper lip, top row of teeth and gums, bottom row of teeth and gums. Feel the tip of your tongue. Travel down your tongue into your throat, down through your throat, and land in your heart. Take a moment to feel your breath as you inhale, your lungs and heart grow larger. And as you exhale, they relax and soften. from your heart and lungs, extend out to feel your whole body. Whole body felt with your breath, your awareness, your presence. Distill your attention back down to your heart and lungs. And as you inhale, feel the ease and lightness of your lungs expanding and your ribs widening. Breathe easy. As you exhale, Feel the qualities of lightness and ease as you sense the immense support all around you and within you. Breathe easy. Staying conscious to your breath, begin to count down from 33, one inhale and exhale, being one count. And if you lose your count or get distracted, just be willing to start over. Continue to count as your awareness now flows freely through your body to discover the subtle sensations of fluid pulsing through you with each breath. Let go of the task of counting your breath. Be with the sensations of these life-giving waters flowing through you. Ride the wave of your breath.
Continue holding the hand of your breath as you invite in the experience of being hot. Perhaps recalling a time recently that your temperature was really high or what it might feel like to have a thousand suns beaming down on you in this moment. Notice what it feels like to be hot, to feel heat in your body in this moment. Perhaps there's one area of your body that really feels hot. Notice how you can expand that sensation by focusing on it and inviting it to spread. Be hot. Feel the sensations of heat in your body. And now as if a thousand clouds begin to cover the sun's and you begin to submerge yourself into an ice bath. Invite in the experience of being cold. Notice what cold feels like. Like being outside in a Calgary winter with not enough clothing on. Be cold. Notice your experience of cold. Notice what it's like to stay with cold and invite back in hot. Letting go of making meaning, hold space for cold and hot simultaneously. Just notice your experience. What is it to be both hot and cold? And now release hot and cold and come back to neutral. Feel your breath as you shift remembering you are practicing yoga nidra. Notice what it's like now to invite in the experience of heaviness. Perhaps a heavy heart or the heaviness of your body sinking into the earth. Notice what heaviness feels like for you, where you feel it. Letting go of story and just be heavy. Meet the heaviness with your breath. Be with it. Now notice the transition as you shift into lightness. Perhaps feeling a quality of lightness in your breath and opening to it, inviting it to expand as more and more of your body feels light, like you're floating. Be light. Be with your lightness. And now stay with light and invite back in heavy. 
Just notice your own experience of heaviness and lightness simultaneously. There's space for both. And now let go of heaviness and lightness and come back to what feels like neutral. A calm, relaxed body. A smooth, spacious breath. A curious, alert mind. Focus your gaze at the backs of your eyelids. Notice how your breath moves or appears as you gaze at this mental viewing screen at the backs of your eyelids. Begin to conjure up the visual of a horizon over top of a vast ocean, allowing your inner seeing to be much different than our outer seeing. Notice the colors, the sounds, the sensations as you gaze out at this vast ocean, an expansive horizon. Begin again to sense the heaviness and lightness as you feel the heaviness of the vast ocean and the lightness of your body as you float above the waves. Supported and held. Light in your being. And as the wave of your breath moves through you, allow that to be the waves of the ocean. Every part of you, coherent, weaving into the synchronicity of your breath as you ride effortlessly on the wave. Focus your gaze at a still point within the infinite horizon. Feeling into all of your senses, your breath, your heart. Rhythmically moving. Riding the wave.
Recall your sankalpa. Hear it echoing in the space around you. Infuse it into your breath. Weave it into this moment. Let it ride the wave with you. The practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. Hari Om Tat Sat. Hari Om Tat Sat. Hari Om Tat Sat. Allow yourself to stay in this restful position for another few minutes. as you slowly feel your senses begin to move from your internal world, reaching back out into the external, noticing the sounds, the smells, the sensations touching your skin, the position your body is in perhaps even licking your lips and swallowing to notice any lingering taste in your mouth. I'm gonna read you a short quote from the book, Fragrance After Rain by Jaya John. Rest is sacred. It is vital. It is non-negotiable. No longer think of rest as a long departure from more important work. Think of it as an integrated, continuous return to your deepest work, being all the way alive. The eternal ones understand us and whisper to us now, children, in every moment, no matter what you face, you can heal yourself with rest. Rest is a life skill. When you master it, you realize it is not a departure from your life. It is the soul of your life. A nurturing you do in the garden of each precious breath and moment. Freedom. In your next few breaths, I invite you to simply transition into another position that feels restful. That could be simply bending your knees if your legs are straight. 
or rolling onto your side. Or if you're feeling tension in your low back, it might feel nice to flip all the way over into a child's pose. And then rest here. Feel these words move through you. There's no rush. I can take my time. Notice how you can cognitively say things like that. Feel the difference when you infuse it into your breath. There's no rush. I can take my time. Feel your breath as both that message and the messenger. within your next few breaths, once again, just transition into another position that feels restful. It might just be the opposite side from where you are now. Or into child's pose, or a seated forward fold, or a supine twist, or laying flat on your belly. Notice what it feels like to rest here. This body that works so hard all day long. This nervous system that is just trying so hard to protect you. Send in appreciation and gratitude. And the words it's okay to rest. And then notice what it's like to infuse gratitude, appreciation, and the acknowledgement that it's okay to rest into your breath. And feel it. Within your next few breaths, begin the slow journey into a seated posture, keeping your eyes closed if that feels okay for you. Setting yourself up in a seated posture where once again, you can feel a little bit of strength and the mobilization of sitting upright, yet some ease and softness. It might feel good to place a hand on your heart or belly or low ribs or keep them resting on your lap. So you connect your top and bottom row of teeth into gentle connection. Spread your tongue along your upper palate an inch away from the backs of your teeth. 
Tuck your chin gently to lengthen the back of your neck. Relax your shoulders. Breathe easy. The 3D expansion of your pelvis, low belly, ribs, and heart. Just be with your breath for a few more moments. And once again, recall your sankalpa, your positive I am statement. Once again, let go of the cognitive reciting and drop it into your breath. Let your body feel the message of your sankalpa with your awareness, your presence, the rhythm, depth, and pace of your breath. In a few moments, we're gonna turn the lights back on. Before we do that, I invite you to bring your hands to connect at Anjali Mudra, palms touching, resting at your heart center. I wanna thank each and every one of you for being here tonight, for exploring, for experimenting, for showing up, for engaging in this willingness to feel. From the bottom of my heart to yours, namaste. Guide your palms to rest over your eyes so that as the light is turned on, it can be received in a way that it will not be as jarring. Feeling the heat of your own palms over your eyes perhaps keeping your eyes closed or gently opening them so that as the lights turn on, it's gentle. And when you feel ready, slowly releasing your hands away from your eyes, take a few moments to look around the room Once again, noticing detail. Perhaps noticing detail that you didn't notice when you looked around earlier. We'll take a few moments before debriefing, saying our goodbyes, to put pen to paper if that feels good for you either in your journal or on the piece of paper. It might feel nice to write down your sankalpa or anything that stood out to you from this experience tonight, what you're feeling in this moment, what you're curious to practice or learn more about. We'll just take a couple minutes. Just allowing your thoughts to flow. After that space of creativity and mental abstraction, now the left hemisphere of your brain can be fed and satisfied by putting words to your experience.
finishing up the thought that you're on. Hmm. So I'm thinking to complete our time together, if you're open to doing this, we've spent a lot of time in rest, laying down. It might feel really good to stand up. <laughs> so what I'm thinking, we can all stand uh, and we can go around the circle. And again, just letting your voice be heard as you share what you're walking away with tonight, whether that's a question, a feeling, a memory, curiosity, anything at all. Could be one word, could be a few sentences, whatever will help you feel complete. So when you're ready, we'll bring ourselves up to standing. And if you're joining us at home, I invite you to type into the chat what you're walking away with tonight. All right. So before we begin, let's take a moment to feel our feet a little bit wider than hip distance. And just bring a little bit of a bounce into your body. Like you're on a trampoline, but it's not like a super bouncy trampoline. It gets pulled a little too tight. <laughs> but as you're jumping and that trampoline warms up a little bit, it starts to be a little bit more flexible. Your body starts to bounce a little bit more. And we'll allow a sound to come out, like a deep sigh or any vowel sound. Ah. Oh. One more. Ah. And then a little shake, a little shimmy. And then come back into relative stillness. And just notice. What feels different? What's moving? What's not moving? All right. So, if you're open, Angela, to start, we'll go the other direction this time. What you're, what's coming up for you? What you're walking away with? Curiosity, question, anything at all? I like your talk. Yeah. And I think it's um, sort of symbolic that it's like literally two years after we started a different adventure that we're into, you know, a more natural adventure again. So yeah. um, I think it's just rebalancing and resetting. Mm, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Victoria? Um, yeah, something that found really interesting or that stuck with me was the idea of duality. So, being heavy and light at the same time, mm -hmm. being held or floating at the same time. And a, a big challenge for me was feeling hot and I was feeling a little bit cold, feeling warm, picturing that, and then trying to feel at the same time. So it was interesting that both can exist in the way that means. Mm. Love it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Tam. Um, Yeah. Mm. Good. Thank you. Mm. Ernie. First of all, thank you for following this uh, circle. I felt uh, very calm afterwards. The rest of all, the rest of all uh, sounds and everything. I mm had -hmm. a quite like, vision at the very end of a circle. 
Thank you. Mm. Amanda. Um, I will be taking away that it's really important to rest. <laughs> yeah. Um, it felt really good. Amazing. Thank you. Carly. I feel very calm. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sherry. Um, I had a really interesting Santrapa, one that I never really heard yeah. before, like in my head. So that was uh, kind of a very different experience for me because I kind of do the same ones yeah. over and over again, I suppose. Um, I had some interesting, I guess, visions or memories come up, which were pleasant and nice. Mm. And I think what I'll take away, I really like the um, the box breathing that included like the inspiration with the movement of the hip. Mm. Something to kind of focus on, but also I have stiff hips, so kind of moving my body. And yeah. I really like that. So I think that's what I'm going to take away going home. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Nora, what about you? Um, I will share Rylan's takeaway. Great. Okay yes, you. please. Um, she's taking away the value of rest and um, her limiting belief that it is an extra. Hmm. Yeah. Rest is not an extra. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, and for me, I am taking away uh, gratitude for each and every one of you for being here tonight, for your courage, your willingness to, to yeah, to just be here. It means a lot to me. Um, I'm also taking away just a curiosity around um, nervousness that I get throughout experiences and how that can uh, take away some of my presence and pleasure of just being. So it's, it's something that I, it, it's interesting, it oscillates, it like comes and goes. And so I'm, I'm just really curious about it and uh, in this moment, feeling very grounded and calm and, and grateful. So, so thank you, everyone. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. So you can take your time to pack your things up. Um, no rush to get out of here. If you have questions um, or want to connect in any way before you leave, I'm happy to do that. I will be sending up uh, a follow-up email as well um, to just check in and uh, share some resources and things as well. So stay tuned for that. And my intention is to do this again next month. Maybe not this exact type of event, um, but something around this theme of coming back into right relationship with opposites and with flexibility and with activation and regulation. That's something I'm really grooving on right now, and I would love to be able to continue sharing it. So, so I will hopefully send you details for that right away as well. Yeah. Thank you, Sherry. You're hiding by the tree. <laughs> uh, hmm. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Ready to close this one down? Um, yeah, just want to
Good night. <laughs>